We are live. 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 What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to Cold Man Sports. Welcome back to Cold Man Sports. It's your favorite ginger here. Oh, it's your favorite ginger here. Ian Martinez are literally our shooting guards just blocked their center at the rim. Top of the hill. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Suggs. Suggs in the window card here. Out to back, back here. Out to Suggs. Step back. Fly by. Three. Wide open. It's good. Come on. Yeah. Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Florida Bay Sports. Today we got March Madness. March Madness is here. I'm hyped. I'm ready for March Madness. Let me know in the comments if you're ready for March Madness. We got Nevada versus Dayton. Later, we'll have Colorado State versus Texas. Tomorrow, we'll be live for New Mexico and Clemson. And, uh, yeah. We're just going to do the March Madness games that I uh, want to do. And this seems like a good one. So, those are the Colorado State one. So, hopefully, they are good, good games. Earlier, we saw. Uh, oh, I watched them. I watched Michigan State beat up uh, Mississippi State. And then. You know, to this down. And then uh, BYU lost to uh, Duchesne, which is probably the craziest upset so far in March Madness. So, yeah. I'm just going to see if Nightbot is working. If you're new, please follow all my social medias and join the Discord. Links will be in the chat right now. Why did I G-bomb? Whoops. I G. X. I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? Twitch. So yeah, go follow all those uh, social media links, Instagram, Twitter, slash X, whatever you want to call it, Twitch, and join the Discord. If you aren't it. I totally forgot to do my background. I do have a background for March Madness, customized background that I literally customized by myself. I got a cut, I used an uh, image for it, but then I edited it to make it look kind of cool. It's a March Madness court. Let's see if I can find it right there. Perfect. Right there. Boom. Now we got the March Madness court in the background. Just like that. Voila. March Madness court up in here. And, uh, yes, sir. All right, we're going to look at scores around March Madness so far. Today, Michigan State. Beat Mississippi State 69 of 51, a butt whooping. And then the upset, the 11th seed, Duchesne, knocks off number six uh, seed, BYU, in a thriller, 71 to 67. Creighton got the job done, number three versus number 14, Akron, winning 77 to 60. And then Arizona, number two, destroy Long Beach State, uh, reached the 15th seed by 20. Wagner so far is getting is only down by 11 with four minutes left, which is kind of surprising that Wagner, with only seven players, um, are only down by 11. 
No, that's wrong. They're down by 21. Yeah, they're down by 21. Never mind. So they're getting blown out. Um, they do have some players, so shout out to them for, uh, you know. They stuck with North Carolina for most of the first half I was watching this. Um, most of the first half they did pretty good, so shout out to them. Um, upset alert. Halftime. Illinois is only up one against number 14, Moorhead State. Is Moorhead State going to be the Cinderella story this year? Are they going to knock off Illinois? Who knows? And then South Carolina is up 20-19 to 19 on Oregon. And then, yeah, this game, the game right after Colorado State versus Texas, I'll be live for right after. Oakland versus Kentucky. McNeese versus Gonzaga, South Dakota State versus Iowa State, St. Peter's is back on the tournament versus Tennessee, NC State versus Texas Tech, Sanford versus Kansas, Jake versus Washington, and that's all the games for today. And then there's going to be a ton of games tomorrow as well. Sixteen games today and sixteen games tomorrow. Bro, please, Oregon. Oregon, please win. Please win. Oh, yeah, I need to check out how my back is doing. Got my bracket up in here. Got all my picks on this bracket. Let's get it. We're going to see how we're doing. Get this. Oh, where's that black? Here's a good pen. All right. Oh, yeah, this game's in Salt Lake City, by the way, Delta Center, which is pretty fire. So Michigan State, I got wrong. I actually picked – did I pick Mississippi? Where are they? Oh, they're eight. Right here. I picked Mississippi State to actually knock off North Carolina. And make the Sweet 16. Actually, I have them make the Elite 8. Well, shoot. Uh, I screwed up on that one. I picked Mississippi State to make the Elite 8, and they freaking lost. Wow. So, scratch that up. That up. And that one out. And then I picked BYU to win, and then Duchesne shocked me. Duchesne somehow freaking won. So, goodbye BYU. Good thing I only have them uh, winning in the first round. So, I mean, I can afford to lose that. Creighton won. Yeah, I have them winning in the first round. I do have them losing to Tennessee, though, in round two. Arizona won by a mile. Yeah, I picked them, so I'm good right there. North Carolina's winning. I'm good right there. And uh, Illinois is winning. So far, I'm good right there. I didn't pick them to lose. So, And then Oregon and South Carolina are the close one so far in that one. Welcome in the stream. Uh, SG Sports Talk, welcome. So, yeah, my bracket's not screwed yet, but if Moorhead State somehow, like, wins, I mean, I only have Illinois winning in the first round, so, I mean, it's not, it wouldn't be too bad. No, I have, I have, never mind, I have them in the Elite Eight, so, please, Illinois, can you freaking not get upset by Moorhead State, please? Please beat Moorhead State. You're only up by one at halftime. Come on. I got you guys in the Elite Eight. I can't afford to lose another team out of the Elite Eight. Like, come on. Please. Yeah, my bracket's not screwed yet. I just am stupid to pick Mississippi State and make the Elite Eight. But uh, that's the only bad pick I have so far. I picked BYU to win. And then they got freaking upset somehow. I got Oregon beat upsetting uh, South Carolina. 11-6 upset, so hopefully they uh, win because that would be a great pick for me. So, 
to see. We will see. Oh yeah, in my uh, I forgot in my uh, excuse me, in my freaking like the first four or whatever games, I got Boise wrong. I put Boise to win. Uh, they, they just oh my gosh, they choked at the end. Um, so I got that them wrong. Um, I did pick Montana State also to win. Got that wrong. Um, I picked Howard to win. I got that one wrong. Oh my gosh, I got all the like first four games wrong, except for Colorado State. I picked Colorado State versus Virginia, and they absolutely destroyed them. Um, so yeah, that one's still alive. But other than that. Yeah. So I've won't, I've got how many games have I got right so far? One. I got three games right so far. That are final. North Carolina is going to hold on. So technically, four games right now. Yeah, four games out of like what eight. I'm four for eight. I'm four for eight. Not bad, but not good either. But also three of those that I got wrong were the first four, so it doesn't really matter. So I can screw up my bracket. Go Nevada. Uh, yeah, I hope. I hope they put on a show. Uh, I, I hope they win. Please win. I actually got them winning. I think. Let's see here. Mm, where is it? Where the heck are they? It's 10 versus 7, right? Oh, yeah. Never mind. I, I picked Dayton to win. I actually picked Dayton to win. Um, but I would not be surprised at all if Nevada wins. Just because they got their seed. They got way too high of a seed. They should have been a lower seed. Um, but, yeah. They seeded Nevada wrong, so I won't be surprised if they won. But we'll see. They are missing their best player. I'm pretty sure still, who's out for like the whole Mountain West tournament with like an ankle injury or something. So uh, we'll see how they do. Though they still got Blackshear, they still got Lucas, so they're still going to be really dangerous. Um, and then Dayton got that big man. I forget his freaking name, but. I literally have no clue who any of the players are on Dayton except for that big guy. I don't really – I can't say his name. Like, I don't remember his name, but I've, I've seen him play before. He's good. Like, because he's the only one I've ever, like, you know, seen on Dayton. So, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, I got Dayton winning. I got Dayton winning. And then later – I actually got Colorado State upsetting Texas. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, they played. Colorado State played really good in their first in the first four game. I'm surprised they made it to the first four. They shouldn't have though. No Mountain West team should have been in the first four, and Boise and Colorado State were in the first four. Boise should have got a better matchup. They got screwed over, and they lost in the first four too. Yeah, they got screwed. Bro, how in the frick is Illinois only up by one and a half? What's happening? What is happening? Wow. They were up 9 nothing to start the game. Morehead State. Wow. Looks like a lot of steals in this one. I'm watching, they're showing the highlights on, uh, on the Nevada game, they're showing the highlights of the first half of the Moorhead State versus Illinois. Moorhead State needs to grab the perimeter perimeter more, and they need to take care of the ball better, and they'll win. Grab the three-point shot and take care of the ball, and 
you'll knock off Illinois just like that. And all our brackets will be screwed. Except for mine. I actually mine yeah, mine would be screwed actually. I have them in the Elite Eight. I mean not totally screwed because I have them losing in the Elite Eight to UConn, so it wouldn't be totally fricked, but yeah. If Morehead State freaking wins, oh my. Like, that screws up my bracket a little bit. Because I have, yeah. If Morehead State beats Illinois, that makes it so much more, like, that makes it easier for UConn to, like, win the East, uh, yeah, and make the Final Four. Like, that'll make it way easier for UConn, I feel like. I picked all San Diego State is so good. Like but I had a I just picked a I had to pick Auburn. Auburn. This is like my bracket that I printed out, like my main bracket. So like this has all my best like these are my best picks. But I made like five other brackets. And I think like two of those other brackets, I do have San Diego State uh making the Elite Eight, but losing to Yukon. No, sorry, three sixteen and losing to UConn. But yeah, I just can't pick them all over Auburn on like my main bracket. But you never know. Auburn did get upset last year. I'm pretty sure. No, it was no, it was Arizona. Auburn didn't get upset. I don't think. But yeah, we could have an upset right here in this game, and in the next game too. We'll see, though. We'll see. Well, yeah, I'm going to pull up March Madness scores on my Chromebook so I can just, like, look at them while watching. While watching. This game is starting late. Holy, they're supposed to start 16 minutes ago, y'all. Literally 16 minutes ago is when this game was supposed to start, and it hasn't yet. It's all right. That means I can just talk more. How am I? I'm doing good, you. How you doing? SG Sports Talk. All right, they're back in Salt Lake. Looks like they're going to be getting the starting lineups here soon. Winner of this will play Arizona, who just destroyed the heck out of Long Beach State for a second. I was like, ooh, Long Beach State, maybe an upset. Uh, And then Arizona just killed them. I thought there was going to be an upset for a second. Long Beach State was sticking in there for a little bit. But, yeah, Moorhead State just took the lead. Wow. No way they lose to Moorhead State, right? Come on, Illinois. Step it up. Huge. Is that his name? Yeah, I think that's the name of their freaking center. Huge or something like that. I'll remember that. Okay, starting lineups. Jared Lucas, Keenan Blackshear, Trey Coleman, Nick Davison, and KJ Hines for Nevada. For the Dayton Flyers, Colby Elvis, Notch Cheeks. Cheeks? What? Oh, I freaking missed it. I missed the last three, darn it. I needed to see that because I don't know anybody on Dayton. But oh well. All right, tip is won by Nevada. Here we go. Here is Blackshear up top. Over to Lucas. Pull-up jumper. Can't get it to go. 
He was open. That's a good looking shot right there to start for Nevada, but in and out. Off back rim. Welcome into the stream, everyone. Five people up in here. <clears throat> Dan moving around on the outside. Looking for the big guy. Kick out. Top of the key three. Splash. What a shot there by Dayton. What a start. Turnover. Dayton gets it back. Easy dunk. Bad start for Nevada. Probably got them little jitters to start the game. You cannot turn over the ball early in this game and give up a wide open dunk. Coleman. Over to Blackshear. Blackshear gets inside. Bump. But, oh, he hit the side of the backboard. What the heck, Blackshear? What the heck was that? Trying to get the foul. He just tried to get the foul. But horrible shot. Nevada. What the heck was this? is this start right now? Big man backing down. Gets in the paint. Loses the ball. Stolen by Lucas. But they're calling a foul on high. What? He just lost it. I don't know about that call. That call is crazy. Ooh, Oregon up by seven. Starting to make room on uh, South Carolina. Three-point shot, no good. Rebound, Jared. Lucas. Lucas wants to push. Lucas, step back, cut off. Wide open three. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Dayton. Dayton pushing the ball up the court. Doesn't shoot the three. Could have shot the three. Gets inside. Kick out. Wide open three. Way off. Way too strong. Blackshear. That was three point shot was horrible. Coleman gives it up to Davison. Davison gets inside. Nice move there. Gets it to go. Puts Nevada on the board. Nicely done there. At halftime, I'll go over my bracket. Dayton looking for Holmes. That's his name, Holmes. Okay. Holmes gets inside. Easy dunk. Cannot let him get behind you. Not let him get good position like that. Nevada, you should be used to being able to guard big men. Ozabor and Ladee were doing that to you all season. You got to be ready for that. I know Coleman's like one of the best big men in the league, but wide open. Davison gets the dunk. Off a nice still by Nevada. Nevada needs to keep up their offense. Their defense isn't very good right now. They need to stop Coleman. Coleman has like three baskets already. Drive inside. What a tough lay right there. Gets it a go. Wow. Coleman driving in. Kick out. Wide up in. Got it. Three is good in the corner for Nevada. Nevada down by two. Out of bounds. Good defense by Coleman there. But last touch by him, it will remain with Dayton. Dayton gets inside. Stripped away, but he gets it back. Stays with it and puts it in. Nice drive there. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have picked Nevada. Their defense looks like crap. Blackshear. Their offense is good, though. To Lucas. Nope, that is, da that is not Lucas. That is Davison. That's Lucas right there. Lucas. Ooh, we wanted to pull the three. Hits Coleman in the corner. Nice drive there by Coleman. Gets the lay to go. 
Both offenses cannot be stopped. There's no defense in this game so far. Absolutely no defense. Is this the All-Star game? Three. No good rebound, Davidson. Not a good-looking shot right there. Davidson running point guard. Gets it to Coleman. Coleman kick to Blackshear. Blackshear posting up. Draws the double. Step back. Mini wide open. Where that, du that double team just went away. And they fell asleep on that one. Good shot there by Blackshear. Ties the ball game up. Dayton looking inside of Coleman. Coleman gets inside. Spin move. Reverse leg. Can't get a go. And he is fouled. Nevada cannot stop this guy. I said freaking Coleman. I'm at Holmes. Nevada cannot stop this freaking center. This guy is good. I haven't watched much Dayton, but I've heard that this guy's good. So they just can't stop him. He's getting in there too easy. And it's not like he's overpowering him. Like they're honestly just getting, he's just fast. Like, He's getting into good position. He's doing spin moves, getting to the rim. Easy. Like, he's not, like, he's not more physical than them. Like, he's not, like, scoring that way. Like, he's not just being a bully in the paint and scoring like he's Shaq. He's just so fast and gets to the rim, like, easy. And, like, Nevada can't do anything about it. They need to find an answer for him. Maybe they'll have some guy off the bench come on, come on the court and uh, maybe he'll stop him. But right now they're starting lineup. Nobody has an answer for Holmes. No one. But Nevada's offense is keeping them, keeping them in this game. Um, Coleman has a corner three. A layup. Jed Lucas has a lay. Blasher has a couple mid-range shots. They're not doing too bad. On defense, they're horrendous. But both teams cannot play defense. This is literally the All-Star game. Whew. A little tired. Oregon is up 32 to 26. A minute left in that one. Let's see who's winning that. Moorhead State. Six minutes into the half. And they're only down by one. Come on, Illinois. I need you to win. I got you making the Elite Eight. Like, please win. No, they're not making the Elite Eight. They're not going to freaking. Yeah, they could make the Elite Eight if Drake upsets Iowa State and they play Drake. But I don't see it. Iowa State's going to win. Some people have Drake. Wait, no. Iowa State plays South Dakota. Oh, wait. They'll play them in the second round if they both win. And I have Drake winning in the versus Washington State. I have that upset. I got a lot, of, a lot of little upsets. Um, they're all right upsets, but I, I got a lot of like twelve over five. Actually, I don't think I have any twelve over five. Oh yeah, I have Grand Canyon beat St. Mary's. Yeah, I got some twelve over five, some seven over ten or ten over sevens, like just little small upsets here and there. Not too crazy though. Um. Except for Mississippi State being North Carolina, but that's not happening because they lost. Wide open court three. Nevada cannot get it to go. Wow. 
That's as open as you're going to get. Got to knock that down. Good defensive pressure there by Lucas. Stripped away. Nice defense there. That's what happens when you take your big men out of the game. Blackshear, kick out. Davison, foul. Reach in on Blackshear. Um, Dayton picks up the foul. Too much reach in. And uh, that's away from the ball. So, or on the floor, I mean. No shot. We'll take it right out on the side. Coleman gets it in the Blackshear. Blackshear doesn't want a screen. Zone defense from Dayton. Stolen away. That's a horrible pass in the middle of that zone. Dayton can't get the layup to go, though. Here's the Wolf Pack. Oh, it's 13-11. Whoops. I forgot about that made layup. Lucas, over to Davison. Blackshear off the screen. Blackshear, pull up midi, gets it a go. What a shot there by Blackshear. Nicely done. Dayton, good defense by Nevada, forces it. Oh, almost backcourt violation. Save. Why can't get the three to go? Good defense by Coleman. Almost forced a. Uh, ooh, almost forced a backcourt violation right there. That was close. Little too close. Catcher shoot three. No good. Nice hustle. Rebound over to Davidson. Davidson on the low block. Spin move. Gets to the hoop. Can't get the layup to go, but he is fouled and go to the line for two shots. Is it Davison or Dave? I think it's Davison. Let's see. Davidson. Yeah, it's Davidson. First free throw is no good. Hits back rim and goes off. Yikes. Got to make your free throws if you want to win in March. The second one is good. Nevada takes the lead. For the first time tonight, I think. Yeah, that's their first lead. Let me turn the sound up on here. There we go. Good defense here by Nevada. Crossover Dane gets inside. Travel. I want to see a replay. I didn't really see it. Coach doesn't like it though. The coach just hates it. I don't know about that. Blackshear gets inside. Kick out. Nowhere to go. Over to Davison. Fakes the three. Spin move. Hand off to Coleman. Coleman gets inside. Can't get the layup to go. Got to finish that. Here comes Dan. Good defense by Coleman. Hands up high. Really terrific defense on the outside by Nevada. Allowing no threes here by Dan. Forcing him to go inside. Here is Holmes. Nice backdoor cut. What a pass from the big man. Wide open. Lay. What a pass. Looked like Jokic on that one. Lucas. Pull up. Long three. Cannot get a go. Rebound Holmes. 
Luke just can make those if you're not if you're uh, not looking and not ready. He can pull it from deep. Holmes on the low block against Davison. Gets inside. Mid-range shot. Gets it to go. What a freaking lucky bounce. I did not think that was going in. And that just bounced up and went right back in. Wow. Okay, big guy. Didn't think you had that in you. Davison. Off the... No, that's not Davison. Gets inside and gets it to go. Foster. Okay, now I know his name. Good take. Nice strong take right there. Right at the defender. Ooh, risky pass there. Good hands by Coleman, though. Davis Holmes on the block against Davison. Forces Holmes to go sideline. Good pass in the middle. Can't get it to go. Rebound Holmes. Nevada needs to grab a rebound. Going back on that low block. Gets inside. Right hook. Cannot get it to go. Tipped out. Off of Davidson. Good defense there by Nevada. Barely missed that hook shot. In and out. Well, that pass by Holmes earlier... That was so nice. Just an easy back door. And that's what you're going to give up. When you when you double team them like that, you're going to give up back door cuts like that. So, Nevada, if, you, if you're going to double team, uh, Holmes in the paint, at least make it, make sure that uh, there's not a guy wide open underneath the hoop. Make sure that there's a body on the guy underneath the hoop. And leave somebody out open on the three-point line. Don't give up an easy layup. I'd rather have a oh, a wide open three than a wide open layup. Because they can miss the wide open three. Wide open layup, though. Like this, they're not gonna miss that. But yeah. Like if you're gonna double team them, leave their worst player open. Not literally their best one of their best guards. Wide open under the hoop. But uh, Nevada uh, their defense you can tell from the first like two to three minutes of the game to the last couple minutes of the game, Nevada has Increase their intensity. Their intensity on defense has gone up, and they're playing better on the defensive end. Um, yes, they're still losing, but it's a close game. And if you can keep it close uh, and come up clutch in the end, you can uh, you can win this, and you can survive and move on. Um. Winner of this will play. Let me see. Winner of this plays the winner. Oh, wait, Arizona already won. So, winner of this plays Arizona in the round of 32. All right, I'm looking at these scores again. So that's been a while. At halftime. Oregon, number 11, Oregon, up five on South Carolina. Keep it up, Oregon. I got you winning. I got you with the upset. So uh, if Oregon can come out in the second half and do as good as they did in the first half, good pick for me on my bracket. So We'll see, though. Illinois, good stuff. They were actually down 48 to 47. Looks like they went on a little 10 0 run. Except not little, a big 10 0 run. And now Illinois is up on Moorhead State 58 to 48. Good stuff there. All right, back in Salt Lake in the Delta Center. 
Zone defense back for Dayton. Trapped in the corner, but reach and foul on Dayton. That's going to be their fourth foul? No, third foul. And Nevada has two. One open three in the corner. Cannot get it to go. Rebound Nevada. Go up. Goes up. Can't get it to go. Goes up again. No foul call. Nevada is down on the floor. No foul. Jump ball. Well, I swear that was like five fouls right there. Yeah, that guy got him on the arm. Number 24 slapped the guy that's on the floor right on the freaking arm. Like right on the dang elbow. That should have that been a foul. What they call jump ball and stains ball. Ooh, what a move. Gets inside. Can't get it to go and he's fouled. What a move to draw that foul right there. But yeah, that should have been a foul instead of a jump ball. No, I should be at the line right now, but whatever. Home. Back up top. Left wing. Swing up top. Step back three cannot get it to go. Rebound Nevada. Nevada wants to push. Nope, they slow it down. They get inside of Blackshear. Blackshear double team. Double team goes away. Black Blackshear end up posting up. Draws another double team. Double team goes away again. They get it back inside and foul. Reach in on Elvis. All right, so there's Elvis and there's Holmes. Okay, I now know. Lucas back in the game. Out goes Blackshear. Pass inside. Davis, lefty hook. Oh, comes right off the rim. Rebound. Saved by Dayton. Wow, what a save. Elvis. Holmes wants ball. Goes back up top. Gets inside. Kick out. D3. Gets it a go. What a shot. That was a tough shot. Good defense by Nevada. Wow. What a dang shot. Inside to Davis. The zone is Nevada's not like the zone. Nevada gets inside. Floater airballed. Rebound. Offensive foul on Nevada. On the rebound. What a dang three. What a freaking shot. Bennett. Okay, that guy's Bennett. Number four is Elvin. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I now know three players on Dayton. Elvis, number four. Holmes is a big guy. And, uh, freaking. Oh, frick. Did they say it was, what was freaking. Crap. Oh, Bennett is the freaking white. Well, light skinned guy. With the freaking. Was it called perm? Yeah. I guess. The one that just made the big time three point shot. Yay! The rest of the games after 
today after this one and the Colorado State game, kind of Mickey. Like Oakland versus Kentucky, McNeese versus Gonzaga, Iowa State versus that South Dakota State, and then St. Peter's versus Tennessee. I guess the. I guess NC State versus Texas Tech is good. Some people have picked Samford to upset Kansas. I don't know how I feel about that. But I guess we'll see. We are back. Think Jared Lucas doesn't have a single point? I swear he made a layup. I guess not. I guess Blackshear Davison and Pullman are carrying. Lucas needs to get some points. Your best player. Or second best player, you could say Black is better, but I mean today he is. So I guess Luke has some baskets, Nevada. Alright. Elvis. Over to Bab. Is it Barrett? Oh, I'll pick him around that right now. Wow. All right, inside to home. Pick to the corner. Doesn't shoot it. Pump fake drive. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Nevada. Nevada looking to push. Gets inside, outside of the Davidson. Swing. Ooh, nice spin move right there. Cannot get the, the layup to go. Kick out three, splash! Davison goes, or Davison. Dayton goes up by seven. This zone is really confusing, Nevada. One, three, one zone. Kick it to Colby. Colby gets, splits the zone, gets inside. That was a block. What a block, but I don't know. That looks like a foul, but I guess they're calling it a block. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Welcome to the channel. Kenneth Clark. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Coleman to the corner. Lucas cannot get it to go. Just a tough off-balance shot. Rebound by Dayton. Pull up three. In and out. Rebound, Dayton. And they're calling an offensive foul. It looks like. That's his third. Three fouls on Isaac. And he's going to go to the bench. No. They're leaving Isaac in. Okay. They're leaving Jack in, I guess. Isaac Jack. That's surprising. 3,000. You're leaving this. Pullman. Gets inside. Nice lay there. Sorry, that was Blackshear. Blackshear gets inside and gets the lay to go. Elvis. Around the screen. Back to Elvis. 
Is that over? Yes. Inside, Jack gets the layup to go. Nice job there by Isaac. All right. Okay, there. I thought I was tripping. I was like, still 23-18? They just scored. Well, I guess they updated it. A little slow. Blackshear to Coleman in the corner. Wide open. Three. Gets it to go. See, that's the thing that's bad about your zone. You leave those corners wide open. And Nevada just pass, pass, wide open. Elvis, being guarded tightly by Lucas, swings to the left, over to Santos, Santos backs his way, offensive foul, Nevada ball, good defense there by Lucas, Lucas was not afraid to guard him, Lucas said bring it on, Lucas gets in good position, an offensive foul. Yep. He extended his arm. That's why. Every time you back down on someone and you sneak and extend that arm, offensive foul every time. Every darn time. Lucas in the corner, up top to Blackshear, to Coleman. Here's Lucas. Lucas, step back. Mitty gets it to go. Jared Lucas gets on the board with his first basket of the game. What a shot. That's a tough shot, too. Fade away mid-range. Coleman on the low block. Double team. Swings it back out. Step back to Rea. Can't get a go. Wants a foul. Looks like he might have got hit on the arm. Blackshear gets all the way and draws the foul. Good job there. Pushing it. Nice job by Blackshear pushing it down the court. Draws a foul. Draws a foul and he'll be at the line when we come back from this commercial break. And now I'm going to look at those scores again. Everyone's hyped that Wendy's made the official hamburger of March Madness a buck. Ooh, Illinois is up by 19. Well, Moorhead State, it was good while it lasted. Moorhead State was doing pretty good for like like the first half, and then this second half, holy cow. Yeah, Illinois is up 78-56. Yeah, that's going over. Six minutes left, too? Yeah, I know. You're not coming back. Oregon is up by five. Oh, it's still halftime. Wow. Thank you, Illinois, for showing up in the second half. Now I got another one right, probably. There's still six minutes to go, so you never know, because it is March. But I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh, yeah. Bro, these State Farm commercials are hilarious. Oh my gosh. All right. Learn up. Be quiet. Singing dog. Loud as heck.
So right, right now, Nevada needs their bench to start showing up because they're getting outplayed by Dayton's bench just a little bit. Not too bad, though. Welcome in the stream, Tro Troy. Welcome. And it looks like Nevada's. Oh, yeah, Nevada's going to be on the line, though. Because they got fouled. Yeah, yeah. Black here. At the line. First one is. Ooh. Good. Gets it to go. Barely. I thought it was going back out. It was in. It was going to go out. And then it went back in. Second free throw is. No good. Rebound by Holmes. Got to make your free throws. Elvis. Takes the handoff. Gets inside. Can't get the go. Rebound. Lucas. Lucas around the screen. Step back. Gets his man in the air. Has nowhere to go, though. Gets it inside to Blackshear. And Blackshear travels. Nice drive. Oh, he pulled his chair out from underneath him. And he travels. Inside. Stolen from Nevada. Good defense there. Not letting Holmes get position. Coleman. To Lucas. Lucas around the Davidson screen. Step back three. Gets it a goal. What a shot by Jared Lucas. Wow. What a shot. That was an amazing shot. 9-0 run for Nevada. They're feeling confident now. They got those jitters out. And now they're here to play. Elvis can't get it to go. Rebound Blackshear. Blackshear, what a move. Outside, Coleman doesn't shoot the wide open three. Drives inside. Kick out. Wide open three for Davison. Gets it to go. Good ball movement there by Nevada. Timeout. Dayton. You love to see it. You love to see it. I'm not no Nevada fan. I'm a Utah State fan, but I'm cheering for those Mountain West teams. You love to see it. Let's go. Boise just sucks. Boise's overrated. Uh, Utah State swept them. That's why I think they're overrated. They just play good against everybody else for some reason. Um, they lost the freaking first four or whatever. So, yeah. They're overrated, but everybody else – in the tournament are good. Wow. Two. It's a crazy what happens when you make three-point shots. Two three-point shots in a row right there. 12-0 run for Nevada. Forces a timeout. Still close game, though. Let's see if... Uh, Illinois still up by 20. Yep. <laughs> They're up by 23. No, they're up by... I love you. Okay, yeah, 23. Let's go. Oregon's up by 10. 16 minutes left to go in that one still, though. So, it's not over yet. But thank you, Oregon. I have Oregon losing in the second round of Creighton, though.
But at least they're winning by 10. Still plenty of time left for South Carolina, but it's a good sign. It's a good sign. And Illinois winning by a lot. So far, my bracket's not looking too bad. I'm just an idiot and pick Mississippi State to beat uh, to beat Michigan State and UConn. No, North Carolina. I picked them to beat Mississippi. I picked Mississippi State to beat Michigan State, North Carolina, and Alabama, and make Elite Eight. That's how dumb I am. But other than that, my bag is pretty good. BYU freaking choked. Actually, they didn't really choke because they never had a. They really never had a lead. So, like, they never had like a good lead. They had a lead. I think their biggest lead was like four. But yeah. Bro, it's crazy I think this game is literally like an hour and 20 minutes away from me in Salt Lake. Like, what? It doesn't even look like the same court. Well, it's not the same court, obviously, but it just doesn't look like the same arena. Like, at all. Because, like, usually the seats come down more. But there's like this board on the side. Like usually there's not that board on the side in the belt for shame. Usually there's seats that go all the way down to like the court. But there's like the they must have like put boards or something. Took or took out a couple seats and put like a yeah board. So yeah, it looks nothing like that. D3, low shot clock, cannot get it to go. Good defense there by Nevada. Another timeout? We just had one. Oh, media timeout. Probably. Yep, media timeout. We'll be back in a few. Introducing the new Cantina Chicken Crispy Taco, only at Taco Bell. The future is black more like a hidden spot, unpredictable. There are battles to win for America's future. There is one constant. Marines. Watch CBS Sports HQ for free. Oh, that was fast. That was fast. Looks <laughs> mad. Black here. Off the screen. Kick out Davison Wild for three. Doesn't take it. Drives to the cup. Gets it to go. Just a good offense there by Nevada. Just a nice little pick and pop. Fakes the three, gets his man up in there, and easy, easy drive to the hoops. And Dayton's going to, not the last shot, but they're going to slow it down. Holmes, that's an offensive foul. You cannot, you cannot extend your arm on a drive like that. That's the second time Holmes has done that. No, no, not Holmes. There's another guy that did it. But that's the second time where Dayton has got called for pushing off. You cannot extend your arm. That's the offensive foul every darn time. And that's not good. That gives the ball back to Nevada with eight seconds left. Black shoot. Can he make a good sh a clutch shot? Maybe a shot gets it. Go. Looks at the crowd. Buzzer beater shot there by Nevada. What a shot! They go up 34-25 at halftime against 
Dayton. What a shot. Woo! That looked like Kobe. What a dang shot. Talking some smack to the crowd. Unbelievable. And it's not easy shots they're making. Nevada's making tough shots. Good defense by Dayton, though. Like, that's a tough shot to make. Jeez. Let's see if uh, Oregon increased that lead. Yep, they're up 14 now. Let's go. And Illinois. Well, Illinois is only up 18 now. They were up by 23. So a little run for Moorhead State. But they're both destroying each other, so both games aren't even close. 14 and 18, so. Brackets looking good as of now. As, as of now, it's looking pretty good, so. But we'll see. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going over my bracket. I'm going to go over my bracket. So, in the East, I got UConn being Stetson, obviously. I got Northwestern take, uh, upsetting. If technically it's not an upset. I mean, it's an 8-9 upset. Not that bad. I got Northwestern beating FAU. I got San Diego State beating UAB. Auburn beating Yale. I had BYU, and they freaking lost to DeShane. So, rip. I got Illinois beating Moorhead State. They're up by, like, 18. I got Drake, 10 seed, upsetting number 7 seed, Washington State. I got Iowa State versus South Dakota State. I got North Carolina being Howard, except Howard's not playing. Wagner's fine. But I still got North Carolina winning. And they did win. I forgot. They played earlier. Duh. I had Mississippi State winning. They lost to Michigan State. So I got that one on. Um, I got Grand Canyon upsetting St. Mary's. 12-5 upset. We got Alabama beating Charleston. I got 11 seed New Mexico beating Clemson. I got Baylor against Colgate. I got Dayton versus Nevada. Even though I wouldn't, wouldn't be shocked if Nevada wins because they are up by nine. They're looking pretty good right now. Um, we'll see. I got Arizona, which they won already. Um, and then over here, I got Houston being Longwood, Nebraska being Texas A&M. I got Wisconsin being J a lot of people have James Madison over Wisconsin, but uh, I, I'm going with with Wisconsin. Welcome in a mile high, Colorado State versus versus Texas. Future pick. I got who did I pick? I picked Texas. To beat them. I thought I had Colorado State, but I guess not. Yeah, I guess I did pick Texas. Okay. I also got Duke beating Vermont. Tech. I got NC State with the upset beating Texas Tech. I got Kentucky over Oakland. I got Florida over. I had Florida to beat Boise State, but they're actually playing Colorado. So I got, but I got Florida beating Colorado. I got Marquette being Western Kentucky. Purdue over. I had Purdue over Montana State. They lost. So, uh, still got Purdue, though. I got Utah State over TCU. Hopefully, we'll at least win one round. Please. We haven't won a, a freaking first round in like 30 years. Please, please, please. At least win one stinking round. I got Gonzaga. Over McNeese. A lot of people have McNeese, too, because Gonzaga's looking a little sus this year. 
Got Kansas over Sanford. A lot of people have Sanford as well, but I got the upset. Oregon beating South Carolina right now. They are up 54 to 37, so that's looking pretty nice right there. I got Creighton, which they already beat Akron. I got Texas, obviously. I already said that. I got Tennessee over St. Peter's. And then in the round of 32, I got North Carolina beating Northwestern. I got Auburn beating San Diego State, which could go either way. I feel like San Diego State could beat Auburn. I had Illinois over BYU. BYU is actually, or Illinois will actually be playing Duchesne, who knocked off BYU. Uh, but yeah, I got Illinois. I got Iowa State over Drake. I actually had a Mississippi State be North Carolina because I'm crazy. Uh, not happening because they already lost. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot to cross off right here. I got Grand Canyon upsetting St. Mary. I got Alabama over Charleston. I got New Mexico. No, 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 no. Sorry, I got... I was looking at the previous one. I got Grant. I got Alabama beating Grand Canyon. I got Baylor beating New Mexico. Arizona over Dayton. And then over here, I got Houston over Nebraska. I got Wisconsin over Duke. I got NC State up. Yes, NC State upsetting Kentucky, which a lot of people have Kentucky win the whole thing. But I got NC State upsetting them. I got Marquette over Florida, Purdue over Utah State, which makes sense. Duh. Kansas over Gonzaga. Gonzaga is not as good this year. Um, but neither is Kansas. That could go either way. I got Creighton over Oregon. I got Tennessee over Texas. And then in the Sweet 16, I got UConn over Auburn. I got Illinois beating Iowa State. Um... Which is an upset, a 3-2 upset. I did have Mississippi State losing to Arizona. But Mississippi State's not even playing in it, so I got Arizona making final four. Um, wait, I skipped. I skipped this one. So I got UConn being Auburn. Illinois being Iowa State, yeah, yeah. I had Mississippi State being Alabama. And Arizona being Baylor. Now, in the Elite Eight, I had UConn being, UConn being Illinois. Arizona being Mississippi State, who's freaking out already because I'm stupid. Uh, Houston being Marquette. And Purdue being Tennessee. So, final four. Got UConn versus Arizona. Houston versus Tennessee. I got Arizona. Knock him off, UConn. Because I'm crazy for some reason. You know, why not just spice it up a little more? And then I got Houston beating Tennessee, and I got Houston winning the national championship. So those are my picks. Um, pretty Mickey, but we'll see. We'll see. So far, I'm I'm doing okay. So if some of these teams that are playing right now can hold on, which they showed they're up like 20, then uh, bracket is looking. Oh, yep, final. Illinois beats. Morehead State. So I get that one right. Thank heaven. Oh yeah, I'm gonna highlight all the ones I got right. Scrap. I'm I'm grabbing a a black pen, scratching up the ones I got wrong, and then highlighting the ones I got right. So let's see. Ask your retina specialist about my VAHD today for the potential for fewer injections. So, got that one wrong. I got that one wrong. Creighton. I got Creighton right. All right. We got Arizona versus Arizona right here. UNC. Illinois, right. 
Where the heck is it? Oh, right here. All right, so the unfortunate part about reliving past years, right, sometimes you. you relive those big offsets. For Arizona, that was last year against Princeton, the 215 game. Back in as a two seed, taking on Dan Monson. This would be his last tournament. Coaching for free, as he liked to say. AJ George with a nice basket. Long Beach State. I'm checking to see if I got all the games so far. The end of the first half. We move yeah. to the second half. Arizona up four, and then it was just a runaway train starting off strong. First so I got four first round games right so far. That are final. North Carolina, Oregon's up by 14. Hopefully they can hold off. We'll see. Arizona gets the win by 20. Important number to some, and they will advance to the next round to play the winner of the game you're watching right now. We'll see. Uh, I'll, Nevada, Texas, I don't know. I don't. That matchup. What do you think? I think you're I just don't think Colorado State's going to beat Texas. They could, because they're a really good team, and they looked really good in the first round. First round, they had no jitters or anything. I was really impressed with And they looked really good. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Welcome into the stream, everyone. We got 10 people up here. Let's go. If you're new, please subscribe. Like the stream. We will be live right after this one for Colorado State versus Texas. And then tomorrow we be live for New Mexico versus Clemson and Utah State versus TCU. Basically all the Mountain West Club teams. <laughs> uh, I might do – I want to do a non – like I want to do a game where it's not uh, any March Man – like any Mountain West teams. I just don't know which – what games to do. Like, I kind of – I wanted to do the Oregon one, but I'm like, digging for Nevada might be a better game, which it's ending up – looks like it's going to end up being better. So, I guess I picked the right game for that one. Um, ooh. NC State versus Texas Tech would be cool to go live for. But that's such a good game. I might – I just want to watch that. With Balo and the, and the rest of the guys, but if he's playing like that, I just want to chill out, really eat some popcorn, and eat that one. Because an older team like Seth was talking and about, watch like that Nevada, one. Who's very experienced could give them trouble mm. doing good point guard play. But if Kylan Boswell tomorrow morning, like go live for, for Arizona going forward. Let's Northwestern versus Florida Atlantic. That might be a good one. Or even San Diego State. No, nah, San Diego State should win. They're playing UAP. Not that good. Colorado versus Florida? I can't go live for that one. This Trumpson game might be over by then. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, they're putting the Oregon game on right now? Why did they move? Did I switch channels on accident? Okay. Huh? They got the Oregon game on right now. That's weird. So am I not going to be able to watch this? Oh, no, they're just showing a little bit of it. Okay. Okay, never mind, never mind. Never mind. We're good. For a second, I was like, why are you guys showing the Oregon game? The, but they're just showing a little bit of it. Just a little clip. Oh, yeah, I want to see how my brother's bracket's doing. I'll be back. I'm going to go grab his bracket and see how he's doing. We'll be back. Um, I'm coming. All right, 
I got his bracket. His bracket. Keep in mind, this is my seven-year-old brother, and he doesn't know anything about college basketball. So, uh, this is his bracket's hilarious. Let's see how he's doing so far, though. He did have Duchesne knocking off. Wow, he got that one right. He actually had Duchesne beating BYU. Wow, my my seven-year-old brother smarter than me. I'm joking. He probably got the other ones wrong, too. Yeah, see, he, he had Morehead State beating Illinois. Yep, yeah. That's what I thought. He actually had Morehead State making Sweet 16, which is crazy. But uh, he's seven years old, so. Uh, he did have North Carolina winning. Okay, that's good. He has North Carolina losing in the, sweet, in the, in the next round, though. So, yikes. I mean, I did, too, but. Baby, since Jersey Okay. He did have Michigan beating Mississippi State. Michigan State beating Mich Mississippi State. My bad. So that's a good pick. Dang. Is my little brother have more games right than me already? What the heck? Where we strive to be that's going on right now. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about the first four games. So, Colorado did win, so we got that one right. He got Grambling right, and Wagner right, and Colorado State right. He got all the first four games right. What? My little brother is actually goaded. How do you get all the first four games right? What in the world? No way. Crack. Oh, yeah, Arizona. He had Arizona win. Bro has missed one game so far. Morehead State versus Illinois. <laughs> No way. I've missed like two games. But technically, I've missed five because if you count the first four games. But dang. Paxton. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Creighton won too. So you have he had Creighton, Creighton losing. Wow. Yep. Got that one wrong, buddy. I still – I don't know how he got all the first four games right. Like, what? That is crack. Bro, why is his jacket looking better than mine? What the heck? I'm trying to see if I got all the games so far. That happened. Yeah. All right. His his bracket's now updated. Do you have Oregon winning at least? Bro, put South Carolina. Yeah. His bracket's okay, but mine's about to be better in about. How long? My back it will be better than his in about where the in about eight minutes of of uh there's eight minutes left in Oregon game so eight minutes game time my bracket will be better than his because for some reason picked South Carolina. Unless they come back in eight minutes, but that'd be crazy. And if they do, I'm gonna rage. If or if Oregon chokes, there's no way. Come on, Oregon, don't choke, please. Oh yeah, I want to see who has. If he had Nevada or Dayton, he has Nevada. Ooh, my brother picked Nevada, and I picked Dayton. Okay. Cool, 
<laughs> I can't believe, bro. This this is my brother's final four. You guys are gonna want to hear this. This is fine. His final four: Washington State versus Charleston. And Kentucky versus Utah State. And then he has Charleston versus Kentucky in the championship. And he has Kentucky winning it all. Which some people do have Kentucky winning it all. So, I mean, but, yeah, his, his bracket's messed up. It's messed up, but it's actually doing pretty solid right now. He's got one. No, he's got two games wrong. Look at this position right here. But the two games he has wrong are kind of crazy. Like, he got – he had Akon beating Creighton and uh, Illinois, who was into more heads. So, those two picks are, are kind of crazy. But. Other than those two, he's spot on. I don't know how the heck his bracket's actually decent, but whatever. All right. There it is. Lucas, out to Blackshear. Blackshear, that zone again. Davison, wide open mid-range, can't get it to go. Good defense there. By Dayton. All right. Inside to home. Home's on the low box. Nevada shows a double team. Good rotation by Nevada. Five to shoot. Four. Inside the homes. Out of bounds. Saved by Blackshear. Trying to throw it off of him, but he saves it. Blackshear kick to the corner. You step out or offensive foul? I think he stepped out. Yeah, he stepped out. Because the ref pointed. Usually when it's an offensive foul, they go close to this and they go. <clears throat> but, yeah, he stepped out. Elvis. Kick out. Swing up to the right. Hand off back to Elvis. Elvis being double team. Kick out. Takes the three. Drives middle. Kick out. Six on the shot clock. Inside. In the cheeks. And he scores. And now my freaking game's right. What the heck? Mickey Wi-Fi? There we go. And Davison gets inside. 4-2. Holmes. Hand off. Kick corner. Bubbles the pass. Tough pass into the corner. Can't handle it. Nevada steals it away. Blackshear up top. Drives to the left, mid-range, pull up, gets it to go. Blackshear cannot be stopped on that mid-range shot right there. It's too easy. He's really smiling. Because Dayton cannot stop him right now. Elvis. Inside the homes. Holmes can't get the lane to go, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. They gotta stop Blackshear. Like, come on. How are you able to hold Lucas to like four points, but Blackshear has like ten or more? No, it probably has more than ten. All right. A lot of them out of fans in Salt Lake. I mean, they didn't have to go travel very far. Holmes gets the first one to go. There's a lot of fans there in the Delta Center, actually. It's pretty packed. 
and you can tell there's a lot of Nevada play, uh, fans there, which I'm not surprised. Guess the second I want to go, Holmes cuts it to single digits. Elvis, press, pressing Blackshear in the backcourt. Bumps him, no foul call. Blackshear gets to Davison. He does nothing with it. He resets the ball to Blackshear. Blackshear kicks it to Coleman. Coleman gets a side foul right on the arm. Gets the swipe down right on the arm. Foul will go on Elvis. They're not calling that on the shot. They're calling that on the floor. Blackshear will inbound under the hoop. Gets it in to Lucas. Lucas. Corner. Jump shot. Gets it to go. These mid-range shots by Nevada are just open a ton. And they're cooking Dayton on them. Dayton cannot figure out this mid-range duo with Blackshear and Lucas. They're just killing them. They're looking like CP3 and Devin Booker out there. Blackshear. Another mid-range shot. Gets it to go. Oh, my gosh. He's cooking. He's cooking. He is cooking. He's coming alive here in the second half, and Dane's going to have to call timeout soon. Holmes doubled. Kick out. Corner three wide open. No good. They needed that one. They're going to have to call timeout soon. If they score here, you got to call timeout. Get inside. Flash here. Kick out. Doesn't take the three. Coleman off the screen. Doesn't take the mid-range shot. Out to Lucas. Mid-range shot. Can't get it to go. Wants a foul. Complain about the foul. Good defense there. There is definitely not a foul. Wide open layup. Cannot get it to go. Just, you got to slow that down. You just got to slow that down. Lucas. Shoot it. Doesn't shoot it. Oh, that, that was Davidson. My bad. Davidson. Nice pass inside. Go up, big fella. He goes up. Can't get it to go, but he's fouled by Holmes. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be a blowout if, home, if the Flyers don't lock in. Nevada is cooking. Nevada's doing exactly what Colorado State did, making the, the college basketball selection committee look like a bunch of idiots. Nevada is literally like an eight seed. Nevada's an eight seed, and Colorado State's a seven seed. But yet, Colorado State got freaking... They lost in the first four and have 10th seed. Well, like both Nevada and Colorado State have 10th seed, and they should have been at least eight. At least eight. Selection committee looking like a bunch of idiots because Colorado State blew the heck out of uh, Virginia. Like, they crushed Virginia. And right now, it's looking like Nevada is going to crush Dayton here if Dayton doesn't do something. So, yeah, selection committee, you're a bunch of idiots. Selection committee screwed over the Mountain West. Except for San Diego State. San Diego State got a good CD. They got five. And they get to play you out in the first round. Like. But the fact that Utah State has TCU on an 8-9 and nine matchup is ridiculous. They literally won the Mountain West regular season. First time they've won it outright ever. And they got freaking 8 seed. And they have to play TCU, who's 9. And then New Mexico, who won the Mountain West championship, is 11 seed. They're lower than Colorado State and Nevada. But they won the Mountain West tournament. That makes no sense. They should be at least six. 
at least six. They're just riding on. They're just sucking on uh, San Diego State because they made it a Final Four last year. So they're going to give them a good seed. But literally, New Mexico. I don't get it. New Mexico beat them, but we're not going to talk about that. Huh? Dumb. New Mexico is going to upset Clemson because NCAA old tournament uh, seeding is crap for the Mountain West teams. So yeah, uh, if New Mexico beats Clemson, don't act, do not act surprised. I'm not going to act surprised at all. I'm not really surprised that Nevada's winning. I kind of screwed up here. Dayton, but whatever. I want to mark off Dayton so bad right now, but it's not. Man, I need lighting in here. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm going to shut this. Turn on the light. There we go. Mm, that's a little better. One sec, y'all. There we go. A little bit more lighting. Well, game's up 12 with three minutes left. Nice. All right. We're back. Missed shot there by Nevada. I didn't see who it was, but. Am I needed? Dang off the screen. Looking into Isaac. Can't get him. Gets inside. Kick out. They're just not going inside enough. They need to get inside more. Isaac gets inside. Misses the lefty layup. Or the right hand layup. Foul on Jack. Fifth, like 15 minutes left in this one. Four, 14 minutes, actually. Cool. Pick out corner. Davidson, wild for three. Can't get to go. Rebound. Dayton. Blocked by Nevada. Isaac stays with it and gets the basket to fall. Ten point game. This game is not over yet. They cut it to ten. Inside foul on the floor. So you can't foul now. You cut it to 10 and then you foul. You got to play good defense without fouling. Make it Like, come on. You don't want to get them in the bonus and then get them easy free throws. Like, you got to play good defense without fouling and, and uh, force hard contested shots. See, that's a wide open shot. Oh, Blackshear missed a wide open shot. I've seen a tougher shot today than that one and he missed it. Inside, missed the layup. Out of bounds off Nevada. How are you missing a layup? Wide open off the fast break. And it wasn't even close. You literally hit the left side of a backboard on that layup. Oh my gosh. 
Jayden gets inside. Santos can't finish another missed layup. Oh my gosh. Wow, Dayton. Wow. Dayton can't make a layup right now. Coleman. Outside of Davidson. Davidson drives right. Step back jumper. Can't get a go. Rebound Blackshear. Blackshear trapped underneath the hoop. Clears it out. Posts up. Step back midi. Can't get it to go. Rebound Dayton. Okay. Better defense there by Dayton. Now make a dang layup. Pick and roll with Isaac. Stolen away. Just horrible pass right there. Just easy steal. Wide open in the corner. Oh, my gosh. No defense. Rebound, Dayton. Thankfully, missed. Still, still away by Lucas. <coughs> or, sorry. Still away by Davison. Wild for three. Gets him, though. Isaac, you got to be stronger with the ball. You grab the rebound and you just let Davison rip it from you like that. Another missed layup. Another miss layup, but he's fouled. Go to the line for two shots. Go to, he'll go to the line for two shots after this timeout, though. But Isaac got the rebound and just let Davison rip it right from him. Like, and Davison, Davison had to come over from like five feet away. He comes over and just grabs it and rips it from him. You got to be stronger than that. And you got to get to your point guard faster than that, too. You're grabbing rebounds, which is good. You're letting them rip it from you, which is not good. And you can't make a layup. You're not going to win games doing that. Nice sticker. Wow. Imagine trolling. Troll. Troll. He's a troll, by the way. That's okay, because I know. Welcome to the stream, Keonta George fan. I picked Dayton to win. I screwed up. My little brother has a better bracket than me so far. A little bit better. Barely better. But he picked South Carolina to win. I picked Oregon Oregon to win. And Oregon's winning. I picked Dayton. Dayton's losing. And he picked Nevada, and Nevada's winning. So, I mean, our act, and we both have two games wrong. So, I mean, we're pretty much even. But it won't be even when it gets closer to these other rounds, because he has some, his final four is hilarious. His final four is definitely not happening. Yo, see Oregon's two minutes left. They're about to win. I'm about to mark off another one. Let's go. Or mark another one correct. It's for people 45 plus at average risk, not high risk. False positive and negative results may occur. Ask your provider for me, Polygar. I spoke. You're getting beat by your brother. I'm not even getting beat by him. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Like, look, he got the all the first four game, all the first four games, like the playing games. He got all of those right somehow. He picked Creighton. Creighton lost, or Creighton won. He picked Akron to beat Creighton, and Creighton won. He picked Duquesne to beat BYU. He got that one right. He picked Moorhead State, and they got crushed. He picked North Carolina. They won. He picked Michigan State. They won. And he picked Arizona. They won. So he's got two games right. right, Two games wrong so far. I got one first four game wrong, which means – and then I got Mississippi State wrong and uh, BYU wrong. So I got – Five wrong, but only two of the of the five that I got wrong 
are actually in the round of 64. The other three were in the first four games. So technically, we have the same right amount of games right. So, well, in the round of 64, we have the same amount right. But he got all the first four games right. So somehow, I, I don't know how. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Dayton winning. Yeah, Dayton winning too. I'm not surprised Nevada's winning. But, yeah. Still time, though. There's still time. They, they're only down by 11. It's not that bad. There's still 11 minutes left. It's not over yet. Dayton gets inside. Easy leg. Cannot. Bro, how are you missing layups? That was a little harder than the other two, but still. Make a darn layup. Black here. Kicked out. Bro, Nevada doesn't have their best player, by the way, y'all. Their best player is out for the season. Well, one of their best players. And Lucas nails up for you. Yeah, one of Nevada's best players isn't even playing. And you're still losing. Nice pass. Blocked. But they're going to call a foul. Wow. Pope doesn't like the call. Gonna go to the line for two shots. Oh yeah, it's second half. Wow, I've got to update that. A little late, but it's all right. First free throw is no good. Oh my gosh. You can hear the ref. You suck, chance from the Nevada fans that are there in Salt Lake City. Second one is good. What the? Nevada. What was that? They took it out of bounds. And then they threw it to somebody that was out of bounds. You idiots. That just gave them another possession. Okay, they missed the layup, and you guys got it back, but still. Not good. You cannot be doing that. Blackshear. Nice pass inside. Easy dunk for Pope. Too easy. Too easy. Proven Nevada is making the Mountain West look good. I mean, it is good. I'm not saying it's bad, but to put it on a show. Showing why Mountain West is one of the best conferences. Not the best, because there's still like two or three that are better. I'd say three. Or three, three, three are better. But they're destroying. Should have seeded. Should have put them up. Uh, should have gave them like fifth seed. NCAA freaking selection, crappy people. Wide open three gets to go. Finally. Ooh, Nevada barely gets it in. Almost stolen away. Blackshear. Over to Lucas. Almost stolen away. Long floater gets it to go. Good defense. Just a nice shot there by Lucas. I thought it was going to be blocked from behind as well.
Offensive foul moving screen. That's like the third offensive foul Lucas has drawn. So I'm going to go. Uh, so I'm going to do a do a plug on here. Oh yeah. I'll probably watch it. What time does that game start, though? Let's see. It's a, if it starts at 7, I'll be able to. If it starts at 6.30. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to watch it. Because the... The Colorado State game is going to be like, it's going to end like 20 minutes into the Jazz game, so I'm not going to be able to watch it. But isn't that halftime, the thing you're talking about? Pretty sure it is. Black shoe. Over to Lucas. Kick to the corner. Back to Lucas. Four on the shot clock. Three. Step back. Three. No way. What a shot. Oh, my gosh. What a shot. Off balance. Three over a center. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Jairus Lucas? Or Jared Lucas, I think. Yeah, if I win it, but that's not happening. Bro, what a freaking shot. Your mom. Let's go. Oregon's going to win. Yeah, Oregon won. Let's go. Oregon won. 35 seconds left, but they're up by like. 12, so Oregon wins, and my brother has now finally got another one wrong. He's He was dumb and picked South Carolina, imagine. He actually picked South Carolina in the next round, too. Imagine. So he got cross off that, cross off that, and cross off that. Wow, imagine picking them in the next round as well. I didn't even pick Oregon in the next round. I got Oregon losing. Let's go. And Illinois games final as well. Which I think I already knew. Yeah, I already knew that. Imagine picking South Carolina. Yeah, this game's over. Yeah. I have to know it was on over. I was only up by five. And they just destroyed Dayton. Holy cow. It's over, but it's not over. If you know what, if you know what I mean. Score, whoops. Score wise is over. Time wise, no. This is Well, I'm not going to upgrade. I don't want to, like, upgrade the brackets yet, because I imagine that Dayton came back, and I, yeah.
Let's go, Oregon. Thank you. I got credit in being Oregon. Easy. So on the right side, so far I have no games wrong. It's just the left side that I have all the games wrong. So South and Midwest region, I'm 100% I'm so far. My brother has two wrong in the Midwest and one wrong in the south, in the east. I have no wrong in the south, no wrong in the Midwest, uh, one wrong in the west, and one round, one wrong in the east. And then he doesn't have any wrong in the west or across. Seven minutes left. Last year, wasting time. Last year. Gets in the middle. Kick out wide open three. Can't get it to go. Short. So what happens when you're sending shooting threes. He's not going to make it most of the time. Unless he's a shooting center, but Pope is not. He just took it because he's open as heck. Holmes on the post. Kick out. Swing. Wide open three. Good. See, they got it in the post. The double came. They swung that all the way around. Wide open three. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Stole it. Hold up. Hold up. They got numbers. Move the ball around. You idiot. You had a five on four. Holmes gets inside. Floater's good. Makes it off the glass. Just like that, 11-point game. It's not over yet. It is not over yet. Still five minutes. Almost six minutes left. Five minutes and 40 seconds left. Oh, 43, 42, 41. Now, offensive foul. No way, Nevada. No way. You're choking. You're choking. I mean, I wouldn't mind if you choke. I'd get another game wrong. Game right, and my brother would get another one wrong. Refs, uh, reviewing something. I think it might be. No way they're looking at the screen, right? That was just a normal offensive moving screen. Nothing dirty about it. So I guess they're looking at it. No, it was an illegal screen, and it was a screen that wasn't needed. If Pope doesn't step Ooh. into the is trying to shoot the high side on the that illegal screen was not necessary at all. If he just stays where he is, doesn't move. That was a stupid moving screen because Lucas was wide up in the corner. And the guy was still running like half, he was only halfway there. So he still would have had a wide open shot. That was a dumb moving screen. And now they're reviewing it for an, like a flagrant. But I don't know about that. Now that that's the talking. Yep, Colin foul. Don't know why you need to review that. But. And the uh, Pope will go to the bench. <coughs> that was dumb foul. Now your big guy's out of the game and. You would have had a wide open three, too. 
Now, would he have made it? You never know. Ooh, deflected off of Coleman, almost out of steal. Yeah, he plays the passing leads like we were talking about earlier. That would have been a bad, a horrible pass. Coleman would have was actually looking. He would have out of steal. Kick out, Holmes. Hand off. Oh, Holmes is wide open in the paint. Oh, my gosh. You missed him on a literally a dunk. But Holmes gets inside, gets the foul on Davison. Davison is pissed. Because now, Day and can cut it to single digits. Which, if you, they make both of these free throws. First one is up, and go. Second free throw is up, and it's good. Nine-point game, just like that. Cuts it to single digits. This game is not over, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, Nevada almost had a five-second call, and they call timeout. We'll go to a commercial break. We'll be right back soon. They had a call timeout because they almost got a five second call. So, yeah. But I'm going to go just for a couple seconds. I'll be back soon. Set up the other. Setting up the other scoreboard for the next stream. Colorado State versus Texas. The 10 seed versus the 7 seed. We are back. Court pressure. Nevada gets through it pretty easily. Now going back to Maine. Coleman over the black shoe. Black shoe. 
Corner three. Short. Falls off the rim. Almost went back in off the bounce. Can't get the go. They need some to score right here. And they need some stops. They need to hurry, though. Not too much, but they need to hurry a little bit. We got four minutes and 30 seconds left. Pull three. Good! What a shot. And just like that, six-point game with four minutes and 14 seconds left. This game is not over. Store it away. Ball's on the floor. Ball's loose. Timeout, Nevada. They get the timeout. Ball was loose on the floor, and they get the timeout. You lucky son of a gun. You almost turn over the ball. You guys were this close to turning that ball over. You lucky son of a gun's got the dang timeout. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is madness. This is March. This is madness. No way, Nevada, you're choking. No way they choke this, right? No way. No way. I mean, I wouldn't mind it. Cause you see right here, I did pick Dayton, so. I wouldn't mind it. But I do want Nevada, I do want Nevada win because Mountain West, woohoo. But I did pick Dayton, so we'll see, though. We'll see. We'll see. No way you guys choke. How much? There you go. Why I got that one. All right. Ten people up here. If you're new, please subscribe. You'd be much appreciated. Road to 200, and hopefully many more. Black here, driving in, loses the ball, out of bounds. He wants a foul, but out of bounds. That's going to be Dayton basketball. Wow. Wow. Hand off. Elvis leans into the defender. Lucas kind of flops, falls down. One of them, three gets it to go. Three point game. Wow. Foul on Santos. Bad foul right there. That's going to send them out of the line, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
No, they're not in the bonus. Nevada's not in the bonus. Dayton is in the bonus, but Nevada is not. Wow. There is Blackshear. Blackshear to Lucas. Off the screen. Lucas to Davison. Back to Lucas. Can Lucas make another tough shot? Pull up three. Can't go. Rebound Pullman. Nice rebound there. That bounced out way far. Blackshear loses it, but it's out of bounds off of day in. Blackshear. 14 of y'all up, up in here. Love to see it. Blackshear, three. No good. Rebound day in. Elvis. Kick out. Three. Good. Dayton ties it up, and Nevada has choked a huge lead. They were up by like 15, and it's tied now. No way. This is crazy. This is what March is all about. Pull up jumper, Lucas is clutch. Lucas gets it to go. Clutch shot. Two minutes left in this game. Who is more clutch? Inside wide open dog. Go on the hall. Holmes gets it to go. And one. I thought he had a posterizing dunk. But he doesn't go for the dunk. And he just throws it in somehow. Oh, my, what a basket. I do not know how this went in. How did that go in? Gravity was on home side right there. And the free throw is good. Dayton retakes the lead. Oh, my gosh. Timeout, Nevada. Night, 17 people up here. What a game. Oh my gosh. Bro, I want to get tickets to a March Madness game and go down to Salt Lake one of these times. Bro, imagine if I would have been able to get tickets to this game. Because this game was in Salt Lake. Oh my gosh. I don't know who's going to win. I don't know who's going to win. Nevada, you're choking. Nevada, what happened? <clears throat> Lucas is probably going to make another another crazy shot because that guy does not stop. That guy makes crazy shots every, every game. So he's probably going to make a crazy shot here probably. How are you choking this bad? You're up by 15. Oh, my gosh. Literally, look, 20 minutes ago, Keontae George fans said it was over. And guess what? It's not over. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. This is madness. Oh, you got to love it. You got to love March. Pullman to Davison. No, is that Davison? Yeah, Davison on the block. Turn around and lay up. Oh, he missed the floater. It wasn't a layup. It was a floater, and he missed it. He shanked it. Dayton can increase the lead here. Elvis. Behind the back. Move. Gets inside. Over to... Bad pass in the home. Stolen by Nevada. <coughs> what a dang game. Blackshear. Step back. Steps through, gets the floater to go. Nevada takes the lead. One minute remaining. Might have to stand up for this one. Into the low block. One-on-one -on -one kick out to the right wing. 
back inside, bonding up, layups go! Dan retakes the lead. 61-60, oh my gosh. Timeout, Nevada. And uh, Colorado State game starts in six minutes. So this commercial break better hurry the frick up so I can get to the Colorado State versus Texas game. Oh, my gosh. What a game. Jeez. Louise. This is crazy. This is nuts. Does Jared Lucas have another clutch shot in him? Find out when we come back from the commercial break. Woo! Ah, uh, crap. Thirty-nine seconds left. Hands full, full heart. Welcome the stream. Or I read that wrong. Hands full, heart full. My bad. Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, 39 seconds left. It's Nevada ball down by one. 21 people up in the air. If you're new, please subscribe. Oh, my gosh. Nevada was up by 15, too. This game is nuts. What a move by Santos. That could have been one too. All right. Eight and a half second difference between shot clock and game clock. 31.6 on the clock. And are on the, yeah, on the clock and 23 seconds on the shot clock. All right. And the NC fan will. Oh, nice. Yeah, hopefully, I kind of want Nevada to win, too, because Mountain West, I did pick Dayton to win. Free ball, stole it, Dayton is fouled. Dayton is going to go to the free throw line. Oh, no. Nevada is selling. Oh, my gosh, Davidson, what are you doing? Davidson going to try to go between the legs and just, oh, my. Stolen by... Day in. Stolen by Santos. Nevada choked. I haven't choked yet, though. Still 15.5 seconds left. Santos at the line. The Nevada's up by 15 too. Free throw's good. See, I want Nevada to win because I'm a Utah State fan. So I want the Mountain West teams to do good. But I did pick Dayton, so hopefully I'm right. So it's tough because I picked Dayton to win on my bracket, but I won the battle to win. Second free throw is good. Three-point game. Dayton calls time – or Nevada calls time out, I think. Fans in Salt Lake are going nuts. This game is nuts. This is what March Madness is all about. Santos has been clutch for Dayton. That home's dunk that somehow went in and Nyan won. Oh my gosh. Imagine if he didn't get the and one. It takes away at least one point. If that basket somehow, if gravity just, I don't know how that went in. Gravity. Pin Nevada. Tie up the game with a three point shot. Ooh, do you foul? Do you foul if you're dating? Do you foul? I would foul. Dane's not going to foul. They're going to play straight up defense. Blackshear doesn't shoot the three, he only shoots mid. Davidson pulled three, can't get it to go. Falls to the ground, thought he was fouled. Coleman, kick out. Blackshear, cannot get it to go. And Nevada 
chokes a 15 point lead. Dayton with the win survives the upset from Nevada. Oh my gosh, what a game! Now I can update my bracket. I won a Nevada win, but at least I got the pick right. Time to highlight that Dayton right there. Where is it? Right here. Dayton. Moving on to round two. What a win from Dayton. Nevada, you freaking choked. Yeah, oh no. Yeah, exactly. Nevada. I had Nevada on some of my other brackets, which sucks. But on my main bracket that I printed out right here, I had Dayton. So thank you, Dayton. What a win. I don't know what to say. I'm just uh, updating my bracket right now. And, uh, yeah. So I still only have two games wrong so far. My brother now has four. Ha! Let's go. Sticking BYU and Mississippi State, not helping my bracket out. Wow. But yeah, thanks for everyone that came in. We got like 23 up in here at one time. And uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you everyone who came in. If you're new, please subscribe, like on the stream, and I'm going to be over at the Colorado live stream, like, literally, like, right now. It starts soon. It starts soon. That's all I got to say. We'll see you all there in that stream. Peace out, y'all. Have a good night. Dayton wins 63-60, to and Nevada chokes 15-point lead. Peace out, y'all. Good night.